Welcome to ChemHelp ASAP. In this video, we will discuss drug-drug interactions, which are a key safety risk for compounds being considered as drugs. Upon completion of this video, students will be able to define drug-drug interaction, list types of drug-drug interactions, and visualize the effect of a drug-drug interaction. Drug-drug interactions, also called DDIs, and sometimes called just drug interactions, occur when one drug, the perpetrator of the DDI, interferes with the action of another drug, the victim of the DDI. There are two types of DDIs. One is PK-based because the DDI affects the pharmacokinetics of the victim drug. The other is PD-based because the DDI affects the pharmacodynamics of the victim drug. We will focus on PK-based DDIs in this discussion. Note that food and dietary supplements can also cause PK and PD-based drug interactions. PK-based DDIs often arise from inhibition of metabolic enzymes, especially cytochrome P450s, which are responsible for phase 1 redox reactions in the liver. The CYP isoforms that are most active in drug metabolism are 1A2, 3A4, and 3A5, which are especially important, 2C9, 2C19, and 2D6. CYP inhibition can be readily monitored through enzyme inhibition assays. A common goal for a discovery program is to keep the IC50 of late leads above 10 micromolar in order to reduce the risk of a compound being a perpetrator of a DDI. So what does a PK-based DDI look like? On the left is a CP time curve for drug A, that is drug A alone. This would be an oral dose. The drug is absorbed and then undergoes elimination. Drug A is going to be our victim in a DDI. Let's see what happens when drug A is taken with drug B, which is a CYP inhibitor and will be our DDI perpetrator. The CP time curve for drug A together with drug B on the right looks similar, but we see many changes. Cmax is higher. The area under curve is higher. The half-life is longer because hepatic clearance is reduced as phase 1 enzymes are inhibited. The bioavailability is higher because the hepatic first pass effect is reduced. All these changes mean that what was a safe and efficacious dose of drug A could now be a dose that reaches levels that lead to toxicity. This is a PK-based DDI and it can lead to safety risks. DDIs can also arise from increased metabolism. PXR stands for pregnane X receptor. If PXR is activated, then the expression level of a number of metabolic enzymes, including cytochromes, as well as conjugation enzymes, and even important transporters, will be increased. Compounds that agonize PXR, therefore, increase metabolism and can decrease the activity reduce the efficacy of a victim drug. Like CYP inhibition, PXR binding can also be monitored during drug discovery through in vitro assays. We have defined drug-drug interactions, we have listed different types of DDIs, and we have visualized the effect of a DDI on the CP time curve of a victim drug. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, make a comment, or even subscribe to the channel. Take care.